Yeah, 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 you read the title, let's get straight to the point. It's no secret that Minecraft has gone through several eras during its illustrious 14-year existence. SHUT THE FUCK UP! Depending on who you ask, though, there are more or less eras both in terms of Minecraft's popularity and the quality of said game. I guess I gotta decide what would I define as eras, and being a 11-year Minecraft veteran, I'm probably overqualified for this position. Uh, let me just think real quick here. Okay, speaking completely out of my ass for these, the following eras are Cave Game is just Notch and nobody else. Classic is just classic. All versions from after classic to beginning of alpha. The true OG era, alpha and beta. The golden era, from the official release to about the redstone update. The modern era. From this point, I think it will make more sense if I go in years. From 2013 to early 2019, the cringe era. From 2019 to about mid 2020, the renaissance. 2021. The SMP era. And from 2022 to now, the modern era. Was that too hard to follow? Well, fuck what? you! I'm the one who wrote the script, dickwad. Okay, according to my sphincter, we got nine eras to choose from. Doesn't sound too hard. Okay, let's get the most obvious thing out of here first. It's not the SMP era. But Tony, Minecraft was still incredibly popular! Man, shut, shut the fuck up! It actively promoted stan culture and went after any unfortunate soul who disagreed with them. Hang on a minute. That's literally Twitter what I've just described, where, coincidentally, the most amount of arguing happens. Which means it's all pointless. I seriously don't understand how people were completely willing to board this retarded train. It's like those people who quote-unquote stan K-pop artists in Korea, and everyone is okay with that. Okay, glad I got that out of my system. Let's carry on. The cringe era, mostly misunderstood by a lot of people, but completely justifiable in some aspects. For example, in another video I've done, I've covered the fact that some of the things that people gave this era trash for are mostly exaggerated and make you say bruh out loud. Who does that? But I'm not gonna pretend that this era is flawless, or any good. It almost single-handedly ruined Minecraft. I will repeat that. It almost single-handedly ruined Minecraft. I don't think I gotta elaborate more on that. Let's carry on. The current era is one of the most boring eras in Minecraft's history. I can't remember a single fun thing that has happened during the last one and a half years. Seriously, a beloved guy died and that's it. <laughs> Fucking sucks. Free for the mission to subscribe and comment your disagreements with me. Cave Game. I think it was single-handedly the most beloved era during its time, considering the fact that only one person was aware of its existence. By the rules of tech Technicality, that will make this era the most beloved and the best one, but obviously that disqualifies it. I really can't put the OG era into consideration as being the best era because even though it may have built many important foundations on which the current state of the game resides on, it was still too young in its development cycle to really do any meaningful impact. I guess the same critiques can be given to Classic, but just at an even younger stage. Plus, there were far less people playing and everything else was different also. This Classic Starship Enterprise is pretty cool though. 8 out of 10. So Really, that leaves three eras that even have a shot at being called the greatest Minecraft era. The Golden Era, the Modern Era, and the Renaissance. Out of all of these three, I would say that the Modern Era has the weakest case for itself. Sure, during this period, Minecraft was objectively at its popularity peak, but honestly, there wasn't much more than that. Okay, sure, the game was officially released. whoop de fucking do But what else was so mind-blowing that made this era stand out to the point that it would be viewed as the greatest? Bro, that's exactly my point. What do you mean by that? It served its purpose of riding that popularity train into the sunset before it got hit with the most vile era known to man. Kind. Nothing exactly wrong with that. It simply isn't worthy of the title as much as the other two eras are. Speaking of these two, I had a really tough time deciding which era was the greatest era of all time. Was it the era that established so much and grew so exponentially, all while setting key foundations on which the, all the eras after it reside on? Or was it the era that revitalized the old era along with new innovations in content making and much more options to choose from? Man, I can't fucking stretch this out anymore, it's the golden era. Really? Boo, what a basic bitch opinion. Okay, shut up, I will explain myself. No, shut up! The renaissance is good and probably the most important era of Minecraft's existence because without it the game would just slowly wither away into nothingness and become a relic of the past. But fuck diminishing it, let's praise the era of all of the good I was done aside from reviving Minecraft. It made us see the game for a different light which gave us new ways to experience the game and such, the community did a complete 180, shifting away from the cringe children of yesteryear to a more bright future. I mean, the children were still more than present, but who gives a fuck about them? I don't. But really, come on. Was there any doubt as to what would even be the greatest Minecraft era? I mean, yeah, it did take me a while to figure it out. Anyways, yes. The golden era. Where do I even begin? Even though I dissed this era for being slightly overrated, that doesn't diminish its importance one bit. Let me just quickly do an overview of said factors. D 
the already present community grew to its massive size during this era, the birth of most of the most beloved content creators happened during this period. I would even argue that the most important updates were some of the alpha and beta releases, and because of that, this was the most exciting time to play the game. But that doesn't mean that the gripes I've had mentioned in the other video don't exist. I really fucking hate it when games don't put ease of life stuff. Fuck it, why doesn't real life have shortcut keys? Like, why can't I control Z after I draw something wrong on paper? But yeah, the biggest impact, massive growth, incredible updates, great atmosphere, and massive suspense of the up-and-coming release are all great factors. 